My research looks into the value of HIV screening, prevention, and treatment in reducing AIDS-related morbidity and mortality in both domestic and international settings. While great strides have been made in HIV treatment since the virus was first discovered in the 1980s, 1.2 million people continue to live with HIV in the United States. Only 940,000 of those 1.2 million are aware of their diagnosis and only 28% of all HIV-infected patients have a suppressed viral load and therefore have low to no risk of transmission. So it's important that we can diagnose those with the disease and supply them with medications that will lower and potentially eliminate the risk of transmission. At the center, we work closely with a diverse team of clinical and epidemiological experts across a multitude of medical specialties to tackle this issue using a computer-based mathematical model. The model simulates individual patients with HIV disease from time of acquisition through disease progression and treatment. Simulation models allow us to overcome many common limitations and constraints of clinical trials. We can simulate the many situations where the trial simply cannot be done, either for ethical, cost, or logistical reasons. Using peer-reviewed published data as input parameters, modeling is an effective tool to project clinical trial outcomes beyond the study duration. I hope my work is used to find ways to encourage patients to access HIV care in the United States and internationally. By working in collaboration with national and international agencies, such as the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, the World Health Organization, and UNAIDS, with the goal of improving access to care and clinical outcomes for patients with HIV worldwide. We also hope to expand our research efforts to address other pertinent chronic conditions, such as diabetes, cardiovascular disease, and smoking-related pulmonary disease.